I have only come out of NDA today. The tier 4 Ryan, tier 6 Bazar, and the tier 8 August Parcival. All the rest are still covered by NDA. So you can understand I won't be answering or talking or commenting about any of the others. Not, not quite yet, anyway. I just thought it was a chance to give you guys a quick look at the, the new German CVs. And like, I'm not going to be critical. I don't, I don't really play CVs myself. Like it's obvious from the games I've played so far. But I play enough to have an understanding of how I can combat them as much as possible. I much enjoy, I much more enjoy playing the sea-based chips, they're the ones I've started playing the game with and I enjoy the most, but I will play these from time to time and I don't, uh, testing them is, is, has been quite a bit of fun. Oh Didi, where are you going? Where are you going? Again, all our destroyers are pink, that's quite hilarious. Quite hilarious. All three pink and sailing away from our base. Makes total sense. Taking fire. Okay. Try shooting the clamps and everyone. He seems to like his straight lines, so let's see if we can can drop him. No, oh, he's decided to turn, of course. We're under attack. Might still get one on his turn. Do you suspect he's going to smoke up? Or maybe not? Okay. DD down. Got a couple of Kirobs over here. These should be prime targets for the AP rockets. So I'm going to come back. I'm just going to quickly drop these torps. Come back with some rockets, see how effective. Kirov, lightly armored. It'd be ideal for these rockets. Just gonna move the carrier. In case. We have other destroyers. Test the rockets. Again, you really want to be getting that flat broadside to have the best chance. All stations He's requesting fire on the designated target. Not going to be accommodating, of course. Second one. Yeah, and he's just angled away. The damage is absolutely minuscule. Ouch! That suddenly found their AA buttons. You know what? I think they're going to be antisocial like that. GD needs help here. Destination 
reached. Autopilot mode disabled. It's actually a waste of. Of course, he got his fighters up. Engaging enemy. Fighters are murdering my planes. I'm sure players, TV players, really enjoy this gameplay and it does look quite impressive I do really I do like how it looks but is it very enjoyable engaging gameplay you just seem very it is just my personal experience you just seem very detached from the action mostly and line this up properly Again, I'm just going to catch his stern, which is it's just down to the timing. My timing is poor. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Aligning your speed with the angle of approach. Matching the height. Those are the factors you have to take into account. Anything there I can drop easily. Sano is slightly isolated. Barry is isolating himself as well. Towards me. Engaging enemy. We're under attack. One over pen. I do like, however, the high angle of approach. It does feel quite realistic compared to most dive bombers from other nations. You can basically come in really low, drop really low. Whereas these feel a little bit more realistic. Hello, Whipshaw. Hello, sir. Trucking gone wild. Perfect potatoes. Welcome to you all. Well, these, uh, the rocket planes seem very, very ineffective against destroyers. So destroyers will be happy to hear that. It's not another new race of, another nation of sh aircraft carriers that are just going to make their life an absolute misery. Congo's AA is quite effective there. Hawkins, are you going to try and torp our ram? Neither. This is a very poor angle of attack as well. You take it, take out his engine. Try and deal with that care of. Our, our Gasano is asking for help as well. Kirov is leaving the base. I'm going to move a little bit further away. Ah, uh, okay. There's the T-22. That's what he needs help with. Almost impossible to drop a DD like this. Bad angle. Splash damage at best. Gave his sailors a quick little shower. And he's taken out the Gasano. Do 
Again, they get another good drenching. I thought I had actually lined those up much better, but they were way off target. I'm just going to have to pepper them with rockets. And from seemingly decent looking position, we're now going to lose this game, it would seem. sits there either and you can see there do you see the angle I came in at with the Sun behind me there it was actually very hard to see the crosshair okay there's a sit come back with torps to kill one of these guys. Now find this DD quickly before he captures this point. Where are you, Dee Dee? Gotta be up this side somewhere. Okay, that's not good. Oh, he's actually come out, okay. He's left the point at least. Okay, there's hope, there's hope. Oh, our T-22 has detonated the Busano. And he gets a Kraken, nicely done. Mr. Pinky. They were beginning to rage on me in the chat. Why are you shooting a cruiser with AP rockets? And... Uh, DD with dive bombers. I could answer I'm just pretty bad, I guess. That'd be a pretty accurate answer. Good evening, Ireland. Hello, Barjarg. Welcome, sir. Hello, Harness. Hello, everyone that's come in. Sorry if I've been a little distracted and missed your messages. See if we can get a kill on this Kirov. Come on now. Time for. Time for some citadels, but no, he's turned in immediately. Ah, oh, there we go. So, slightly angled target, and I get a triple citadel. That's interesting. Okay, so we're we're learning something as we go. Hello, ZZ Ep. Hello, welcome to the stream, sir. 
Do you suspect a CV is around here somewhere? Lanes came from... Has he gone over here, possibly? He must be over there, you are, Langley. So let's test that theory again on slightly angled targets. Slightly angled, slightly armoured. No. The negative. That was the first time I've managed to get a triple six. I've managed singles and doubles before. And it must I caught his lower his lowest armor on his bow section it seemed. Time to move this carrier. Sailing these planes across the full length of the map is not exactly ideal. Not what you'd call engaging gameplay. Why are you shooting rockets? Why am I shooting cruisers with rockets? Well, to get triple sits. That's your answer. <laughs> Hello, fat old grump, old fat grumpy cat. Hello, sir. So this game was looking bad there for a moment. Yes, we gotta congratulate Mr. Pinky here. Getting a Kraken. Well done, T22. Always nice to have your achievement recognized in the chat. Okay, Langley. Time to put some holes in your ship. Oh, those fighters really shred those planes. I don't think these dive bombers will be... Maintaining present course. It will, they, I don't think they'll have much effect on a carrier. They do seem quite slow, they have to climb to such a height before they actually get moving. And the game actually goes silent up here, once you get to this height. I tried three games in co-op with Hosho. I can't, I'm so bad. <laughs> you know, it's a very different kind of game. When you when you play destroyers and cruisers and battleships, making the change to this kind of gameplay, it's uh, it's incredibly different. Different. Some will really like it, and others will just go. No, I can't take this. Come on, ship! You seem pretty slow here. Our T-22 is going to cap before I even get a sight on this Langley again. Okay, the game's about to, about to end. Oh, well done, T-22. He carried me to a Kraken. Fifteen torpedoes. Less, less effective with the dive bombers. The rockets, a couple of citadels. Not completely terrible. I was able to give him more. It's a good game. E22. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.